Welcome to the Narcissistic Abuse Survivors Support Group, a community dedicated to shedding light on the intricate web of narcissism. Welcome back to our YouTube channel, your compass in navigating the myriad issues related to narcissistic relationships. Today we're diving into a crucial aspect of healing from narcissistic abuse, rumination. It's a topic close to the hearts of many survivors. We're going to explore what rumination is, why it's detrimental, and most importantly, how to deal with it. But before we begin, I'd like to extend a heartfelt invitation to join our vibrant YouTube community. Feel free to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our content. Let's embark on this journey of understanding and healing together. Rumination is like an obsessive thought pattern that's incredibly challenging to escape. When you ruminate, you continually dwell on a particular thought or issue, often to the point that it distracts you from other important aspects of your life. It's akin to being caught in a mental loop that can be hard to break. In the context of narcissistic abuse, rumination often occurs to the sheer confusion and emotional turmoil that survivors face. These relationships are complex and disorienting, leaving you grappling for answers and clarity. Some common ruminative thoughts include self-blame, such as, what could I have done differently? Maybe it's my fault. Or hope for change. What if they change for someone else? Or replaying arguments. I wish I had said this during our last argument. Or idealizing the past. Why can't our relationship be like it was in the beginning? or comparing to others. What does the new person have that I don't? These are just a few examples, but rumination can manifest in various forms, constantly pulling you back into the confusion and emotional turmoil of the narcissistic relationship. So why is rumination harmful? Rumination is a double-edged sword that exacerbates your pain. Not only does it keep you fixated on an unfixable problem, which is the narcissistic relationship, but it also prevents you from fully engaging in your life. You may struggle to concentrate, meet responsibilities, or enjoy meaningful activities. When you ruminate, you're essentially punishing yourself twice. You're stuck in a cycle of ruminating about a relationship that's unlikely to change while missing out on the potential for a brighter future. Now let's explore some strategies to tackle rumination head on. Number one, distract yourself. Engage in activities that are meaningful or enjoyable to you. Create a distraction list and refer to it whenever rumination strikes. Change your environment, go for a walk, or immerse yourself in a book. Anything to redirect your focus. Number two, practice mindfulness. Mindfulness exercises, even as short as five minutes, can help ground you in the present moment. Pay attention to the sights, sounds, and smells around you. This can be challenging, but is effective in clearing your mind. Number three, deep breathing. When you feel rumination creeping in, take a moment for deep breathing exercises. Inhale deeply, hold, and exhale slowly. Repeat this a few times to calm your mind. Number four, make a list. Create a list of all the negative aspects of the narcissistic relationship. Refer to this list when you find yourself romanticizing the past or hoping for change. Realistically assess the relationship based on these insights. 
Number five, defy their restrictions. Embrace your independence by doing things that the narcissist discouraged or criticized. Challenge their restrictions and limitations, even if it's in small, meaningful ways. Rumination is a common and challenging pattern in narcissistic relationships. It's essential to recognize its impact and actively work on baking free from its grasp. Remember, rumination cannot fix the unfixable, and your mental well-being deserves your focus. By implementing these strategies, you can gradually regain control over your thoughts and your life. Rumination may persist, but with time and practice, you'll find yourself becoming less entangled in its grip. Thank you for tuning in, and please share your rumination experiences and any additional tips you have in the comments below. We're here to support each other on this healing journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for notifications. There's more valuable content coming your way. Bye for now.